Okay, so this video is going to be on how to start your friendship bracelet off. It's not a video on how to do a pattern. It's not a tutorial on how to do a bracelet or anything like that. I'm just going to show you how you can start your friendship bracelet off. And if you would like to follow along, you can get some embroidery floss and some scissors. So yeah, I hope that this video will help you and how to start your friendship bracelet off. So yeah, um, I'm going to start off with three colors, but I'm going to fold it in half we'll make it six but i'll explain that in the video so you don't have to worry about that part but yeah so let's begin and i'll show you okay so this question is asked many times like i said how do i start my friendship bracelet off and i'm going to show you one of the first ways that i know how to do it so you would fold your string in half and create a loop at the top once you have your loop at the top, you would want to knot it because this way will hold the bracelet in place once the knot is placed. So I twist the string around my finger and I make a hole or a loop and I put the remaining amount of string through the loop and I pull up to tighten it and there's your knot. This is one of the easiest ways to do it. I feel like I do this many times. There's other ways, and I'm going to show you the other, I think it's four ways, but yeah, this is one of the easiest ways to do it, and yeah. Okay, so since I'm going to be using six strings, I'm going to show you another way to do it, and more in like one of the most simplest ways, but if you're going to use three strings only, um, you don't have to fold it in half because... Since I'm using six strings, I fold my three strings in half and I cut it at the top to make strands. And that's easier than like cutting six strings and doing that. It'll be easier for you to fold it and then cut it at the top and then make a knot for your six strands. If you're using three, you just want to create a knot at the top. But the same way I showed you how to do a knot for the loop is the same way you'll do a knot for this one. Just you'll leave the bracelet and strands. You wanna make sure that you leave an excess amount of strands out. So when you are finished with your bracelet, you have enough string to tie it around your wrist and you won't have to struggle. But yeah, this is one of the second easiest ways to do it, or to say actually the first easiest way to do it. But yeah, so this is how it'll look and make sure you leave an excess amount of string out, like I said. Okay, so this is the third way I know how to do it. I am going to make strands, but I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. You would create a knot. Make sure you, it's like a big loop at the top, basically saying. But that's how you would want to do it. You would make a knot, right? Grab your scissors. And you're going to cut the very top, like where the loop is you're gonna cut it and now it's strands now they turn into strands okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to be braiding both sides of the strands there's gonna be two braids this is another way you can start off your friendship bracelet to be honest you don't have to do it right away you can do it after you finish doing your pattern but yeah, so I already did one braid on one side and I'm going to do the second braid. Um, if you don't know how to do a braid, I'm so, so sorry. I don't know what to tell you. If you would like for me to do a video and a tutorial on how to do a braid, I would be more than happy to do that because I can, I mean, not I can, but I personally, me, I felt like when I was younger, I was like, wow, a braid is super hard. But in reality, you just like, you just basically guess it. Like, no one taught me how to do a braid. I just learned it on my own. But yeah, for this particular braid, for this friendship bracelet, it is a very tiny braid. So it, it will be kind of difficult because it's so little. But once you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it and you really don't need like any like um, 
how do you say it? you don't really need to like struggle through it it'll be way easier for you but the thing is the harder part is when you have to make that tiny little knot at the end of the braid for that I would say you have an excess amount of strand strands of string so it won't be that hard for you but for me I've done it for so long I just don't really care how it looks when I do make that tiny little knot at the end but yeah so once I finish my braid as you can see I'm gonna make that tiny little knot at the top so I usually wrap it around my pinky finger as if I were doing a knot like for any friendship bracelet so as you can see I am struggling right now but it's so I won't knock my phone down but I'm gonna eventually get it and it doesn't matter how it looks it can look however just want to make sure that you know you make it and there you go I already did the two little tiny knots and yeah this is another way you can start your friendship bracelet off it's really cute and it looks real nice and you would start your pattern afterwards and this is one of the other ways that I know how to do it and I'll show you two more ways how to start your friendship bracelet off okay so we're gonna do the same thing we did for the last how to start my friendship bracelet off thing that I showed you so you're gonna make a big giant loop put a knot and then cut it at the top but this time we're not gonna do two little tiny braids we're gonna do one big giant braid so once you do that you're gonna have your strands and a knot it's gonna look like a regular friendship bracelet but we're gonna do one big fat braid one big fat braid well yeah it's like literally one braid and it's fat so this is how I do it I separate my string so I'm gonna separate it in three and it's gonna be with two with each color and I'm gonna make a braid I'm gonna try to show you how to do a braid I'm sorry if you don't know how to do a braid but um, it's really not that hard like I said but you would want to do your braid and one just one braid not two separate braids that's how I sometimes start my bracelet off but I don't like do it right away I sometimes wait to finish my bracelet and then I do the braids like at the end like when I'm done with my bracelet but if you want you can actually do it before you start your bracelet it's either or it doesn't really matter how you do it but yeah so this is how I do my braid I'm not sure if you can learn by this because to be honest um i don't know if anybody doesn't know how to do one but yeah that's how you would do it at first and okay so i'm gonna keep going and until i reach to the very end and there's not much explaining to do to be honest because you're just doing a braid if you would like for me to do a tutorial on how to do a braid i'll be more than glad to do it I'm really actually not sure what video I'm gonna do next but this video I've seen a question I've seen this question asked many times so that's exactly why I decided to do this video but yeah so once you reach the end you're gonna want to do a tiny little knot at the end I usually wrap around my pinky like I said um, you're gonna want to wrap it around your pinky and once you get the the hole you're gonna want to put the rest of the string through it and you're gonna want to pull down as you can see it looks like really messed up but I'm gonna end up fixing it so if you're not able to just keep trying if not just leave it like that I don't think it really matters to be honest so that's how that would look well it looks kind of ugly but I'm gonna fix it like I said so yeah that's how you would want your bracelet to look when you're finished doing the big fat parade okay so now we're gonna start off with a i would say a wrapped loop or a knotted loop however but it's gonna be like knotted at the top a wrapped loop i don't know how you say it okay so one end is gonna be like you're gonna cut your string together so they're gonna be even and on the other end it's not gonna be even so you're gonna use one of the strings that you're gonna be 
using to do this bracelet has to be longer than the other strings just for the fact that you're gonna need that same string to do the knotted loop. <clears throat> you see, as you can see, the white, I'm gonna use the white one, so the white string to make my knotted loop. So that's why I cut more of the white string than the other colors. So once you do a knotted loop, you're gonna wanna make sure you know where you're gonna start your bracelet off. So you're gonna wanna do the loop at the top, right? But make sure you... Okay, like I said, you're gonna want to know where you're gonna start your loop at the top. Okay, so you're gonna want to... So basically you're gonna be doing forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward, or backward, forward, backward, forward. It does not matter what order you do this in, but it has to be forward, backward, or backward, forward. And you have to keep doing it continuously, like in a pattern. If you don't know how to do your backward or forward knots, it's gonna be kind of like complicated to do this, but I'm gonna try to show you my best on how to do the backward forward knots or the forward backward knots. You're just gonna wanna keep doing it like in an AB pattern because it's gonna look better. Cause if you do it like in one single pattern, like just completely like just forward knots, it's not gonna end up looking the same way. I don't know how to explain it, but I think I tried to do it like just four knots and it just looked really ugly, like it just not didn't look the same. I don't know if you guys ever heard about the Chinese staircase friendship bracelet pattern, but I think it ends up looking like that. So, so I'm already doing a forward knot and now I'm gonna be doing a backward knot. So a backward knot would be uh, like a backwards four. If you don't know your knots, I actually did a video. My very first video on my channel is the four basic knots in a friendship bracelet. So if you would want to look at that video first, you can definitely, and I think it'll help you more so you won't be like confused. So once you start doing your knots, you're going to just want to keep going. Um, to be honest, there's... I don't really know if there's a certain length that the loop has to be, but I don't measure it. I just go by what I know. Like, it, I don't know. I just guess, basically. I don't even cut my string a certain length either. I just assume, you know? So, yeah. So, you're just going to want to keep going. Right now, I'm doing a backward knot, as you can see. This is a backward knot. So... I know I'm having trouble, but this is a backward knot. You do that, and then you pull up, and then you're gonna want to do a forward knot. Cause remember, it has to be A, B, A, B pattern. So I'm doing a forward knot. You'll put the string over the, you'll put the string you're using over the other, the green string, and you'll pull it underneath and pull through the loop and pull up. And same thing for the backwards knot. You're gonna want to go over the green string, pull underneath it, go through the loop, and pull up. So basically that's how you do the backward knot and then the forward knot is just the opposite of the backward knot. Oh yeah, and by the way, for say you're doing your your um, forward, backward, forward, backward pattern or backward, forward, whatever, and you forget what knot you did, like you did a forward and you forgot that you did a forward and you do another forward it doesn't really matter it won't affect your bracelet as bad i don't even think it'll affect it at all but if you happen to forget um just try to remember the last knot you did and if you do the same one you can't really tell but yeah but you're gonna want to keep doing the ABAB pattern regardless because i think it'll mess up your bracelet so that's exactly what i'm doing So I'm just going to keep going and going until I get to my desired length and I will end up showing you how it'll look. Okay, so now I'm just going to keep going and as you can see, your pattern starts to form. It starts to get where you, that's how you would want it to look. So, and also another thing I wanted to explain. To, to not explain but to, to tell you guys is this knotted loop wrap loop however you want to call it I feel like it only goes with symmetrical bracelets like even bracelets like if you have seven strings 
I don't think it's gonna work out because I think I did a bracelet that was gonna have like seven strings and this knotted loop wrap loop was just not it so you're gonna want to make sure that you know that it's the right it's the right way that you want to begin your friendship bracelet so now that I actually got to where I wanted it to be this is how it's gonna look so yeah that's how you're gonna want it to look and you can make it longer you can make it smaller bigger whatever but this is how you're gonna want it to look but as you can see since I'm doing a chevron or I think a, the best pattern you can do with this one is a chevron like the best pattern that goes with this loop not a loop but overall um, just make sure that you're you know you're doing it right because also like you want to you know you just want to know you know like you just need to know because I feel like this one goes with certain bracelets, but I'm not sure. I can be wrong. I'm not sure if it goes with certain bracelets, but I feel like it does. So you just want to make sure that you do that because I think I did it once, like I said, and it was not the right one for the bracelet I wanted to do. And I had to like take the whole thing off. It's annoying. So yeah, I hope that that helped you. And I'm going to actually show you like some other things that I know how to do. But yeah, I hope that this this one how this tutorial helped you how to do this if it didn't just let me know so i can remake the whole entire video not the whole entire video but for just this specific one so yeah but the other ones are okay so from left to right your first one is a regular loop the second one's a knotted loop wrap loop the third one is strands the fourth one is two braids and then the last one is one just one big fat braid and that's usually how I start my friendship bracelet patterns off or my friendship bracelet off and well actually for the two braided ones I have a, I do this thing where I take the knot that it has I take it like I unknot it but usually you got to do that when you once you start your pattern because if you you can't do it before you start your pattern because you won't be able to able to do your bracelet like that because it's going to be all loose you need to have that knot there until you're finished doing your pattern but i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about i'm going to start a little pattern i'll show you exactly what i'm what i'm saying okay so this is an example i did a little chevron so like i was saying you can actually take the knot out and then by the knot i was meaning that the knot that it has to keep the bracelet in place so once you do your pattern you can actually undo that knot I usually that's what I usually do because I just like it like that like I really don't like that knot so yeah so that's what you want to do for that one and that's what I do I I would honestly I would like fix the braids but oh other than that that's how it would look and you can also do the same thing for the big braid you can take the knot out too and I think you can do it for the strands also um, just the regular strands like if you don't want to make anything at the top you can also do it for that one too but the regular loop and the knot the wrap loop obviously um, the wrap loop doesn't have a knot in it but the other one the regular loop I f feel like you wouldn't want to take your knot out because it would just look really like weird and really loose so yeah, that's what I do and I hope this video helped you guys on how to start your friendship bracelet off and yeah um i know it wasn't hopefully it wasn't like super difficult to learn i was trying to explain my best but like i said if it's not good i mean i'll be more than happy to redo this tutorial for you guys so yeah but i hope this video helped you and i just want to explain that before i finished so you guys can know that there is other ways so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll be posting more videos soon. So yeah, bye, adios, whatever. <laughs>